Let's talk about the best certifications for developers. This time, we will do it multi-level, associate, professional, and expert. Now, this is not for full-fledged programmers slash application developers, meaning as a developer and as a programmer, you have to also learn other technologies, such as cloud and cybersecurity. You can check the best entry-level certification videos to start learning both cloud and cybersecurity. These are super beginner level. Note, because developer certifications such as Java or Python has no value. Also, I didn't rank these certifications as we have many different focus or concentrations. For those who are new to this channel, welcome. I am your host, name is Dean Armada, and I am Career Certification Captain. And on this channel, we talk about tech career certifications, trivia and tutorials in cybersecurity, trivia and tutorials in cloud and data center, and my journey as an IT instructor. So feel free to check out the rest of the channel and consider subscribing. For associate level, we have first Cisco certified DevNet Associate. This certification talks about application development slash programming and how to automate networks using programming languages such as Python, using many different APIs. It covers the basics of networking, believe it or not. And then they also introduce cloud and Linux technologies. It doesn't cover the basics of Python programming though. Now, aside from Python skills, additional technology to learn is cloud networking, specifically using Cisco platforms. Next, we have AWS Certified Developer Associate. It's designed to validate a candidate's proficiency in developing, testing, deploying, and debugging AWS cloud-based applications. It also validates a candidate's ability to complete the following task. Develop and optimize application and packages. Deploy using continuous integration and continuous delivery, also known as CICD workflows. Identify and resolve application issues using AWS Cloud. And during the certification process, you will also be able to learn additional technologies. This is cloud computing and we're specific to AWS Cloud. Next, Microsoft Certified Azure Developer Associate. Candidates for this certification are responsible for participating in all phases of development. This includes requirement gathering, design development, deployment, security maintenance, performance tuning, and monitoring. They should also be proficient in SDKs, data storage options, data connections, API, application authentication and authorization, compute slash container deployment and debugging. Now, aside from Azure PowerShell skills, additional technology to learn is cloud computing, specifically Microsoft Azure. And last, Certified Kubernetes Application Developer. This certification program allows users to demonstrate their competence in hands-on command line environment. And the successful candidate will be comfortable working with container images, applying cloud-native application concepts and architectures, and working slash validating Kubernetes resources definitions. During the certification process, you will be able to learn additional technologies, such as containers. These are Docker, and Kubernetes. Let's now move to the professional level. We have first Cisco Certified DevNet Professional. This certification talks about many things. It's still continuing the main purpose of DevNet, which is automating networks using Python and other tools. But this time, we have specializations. You can specialize automating Cisco data center networks, Cisco security solutions, Cisco Enterprise Networks, and many more. The most recommended specialization is Data Center. It's about automating and orchestrating Cisco Software Defined Network, or SDN, or Cloud Networking Solutions. And why? Because this is where the real network automation is happening. 
Next, Ace or Arista Cloud Engineer Level 5 Automation. It covers using tools and strategies to automate Arista network infrastructure. It focuses on Cloud Vision Automation. This is also the SDN controller of Arista devices. The ACE or Arista Cloud Engineer Level 5 is a 4-hour intense hands-on lab. This leverages Ansible, Python, and other commonly used automation programming languages. Now, same with Cisco DevNet Professional, ACE Level 5 Automation focuses more on cloud networking but this time it's specific to Arista devices. Next, Google Cloud Certified Cloud Developer Professional. This certification requires proficiency with at least one general programming language. And the candidate should also has an experience with cloud native applications, developer tools, managed services, and next generation databases. It assesses the ability of candidate to deploy highly scalable, available, reliable cloud-native applications, build, test, and deploy applications, integrate Google Cloud services, and manage deployed applications. Now, during the certification process, the candidate will be able to learn additional technologies. This is cloud computing as a whole, but specific to Google Cloud. Next and the last, Certified Secure Software Lifecycle Professional or CSSLP by ISC Squared. This is the industry's premier secure software development certification. And I suppose to put this under expert level, but it's just written slash multiple choice type of exam. Anyway, the CSSLP is ideal for software developers who wants to specialize in cybersecurity as he is responsible for applying best cybersecurity practices to each phase of Software Development Lifecycle, or SDLC. The certification covers the following eight domains. We have uh, Secure Software Concepts, Secure Software Requirements, Secure Software Design, Secure Software Implementation slash Programming, Secure Software Testing, software lifecycle management, software development or software deployment, excuse me, operations and maintenance, and supply chain slash software acquisitions. Now, let's talk about the expert level. First, Cisco Certified DevNet Expert. It's a prestigious certification that validates the advanced skills and knowledge of software development and automation in a Cisco network environment. This certification is designed for experienced professionals who have a deep understanding of software development methodologies, network programmability, and automation. It covers many topics such as software design development and deployment, IAHC, this is also known as infrastructure as a code, network programmability and automation, lastly, containers and security. Okay, next, Offensive Security Exploit Developer, or OSED. The course bundled with the certification is Windows User Mode Exploit Development. It teaches learners the basic of modern exploit development, and it relies on the substantial knowledge of assembly and low-level programming languages. It begins with basic buffer overflow attacks and builds into learning the skills needed to crack the critical security mitigations protecting enterprises. If OSED is for Windows, Offensive Security Mac OS Researcher or OSMR is for Mac OS. The course tied with the certification is Advanced Mac OS Control Bypasses. And like OSED, it requires low-level programming such as C and assembly languages. It teaches the skills necessary to bypass security controls implemented by Mac OS and exploit logic vulnerabilities to perform privilege escalation on Mac OS systems. Next and the last, 
Offense and Security Web Expert or OSWE. The prerequisite of this course is candidate should have the ability to write Python, Perl, PHP, or Bash scripts. The course bundled with the certification is Advanced Web Attacks and Exploitation. It teaches the skills needed to conduct white box web application penetration testing and candidates demonstrate their skills and knowledge in web application security by identifying vulnerabilities and exploiting them using the script they developed. All of the mentioned certification exams are hands-on lab environment. Okay, for Cisco certified DevNet expert, it's an eight hour intense hands-on lab. And all three offensive security certifications is a 48 hour practical exam plus a 24 hour for documentation and reporting. If you look at our list, we have perfect balance. We have total of four developer certifications for cloud computing, four developer certifications for cloud networking, and four for cybersecurity. So for programmers slash developers, which technology is the most interesting to you? Cloud computing, such as AWS, Microsoft Azure, and Google Cloud, or cloud networking, such as Cisco and Arista, or cybersecurity. This is for malware development, web application penetration testing, or securing software development lifecycle. 